Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I am retroactively announcing a new series here on Game From Scratch. Sometimes I don't know things are going to turn into a series until they become a series, and this one kind of accidentally did become a series. Generally, I like to do an introduction to each series before I jump in, that way I can solicit your feedback, get recommendations, suggestions, and that kind of stuff. And then I go ahead and use that information when dealing with the series as I develop it. Well, in this particular case, this one sort of started by accident. It's like, hey, well, should I not do this? And I did it, and then I did another one, then I did another one, did another one. And now I'm up to four of them, and that is officially a series. So uh, kind of doing things retroactively. I'm doing this also for one really stupid reason. The pedant in me just drives me nuts that for once I've made a playlist for this series, in YouTube, you cannot set a thumbnail individually. It has to be from one of the videos, and I hate having the C++ logo as the, the logo for a series called Game Engines by Language. So I, I want instead to have this. So I need to create a video to make that happen, which is kind of stupid. You listening, YouTube? That's kind of stupid. But anyways, there is a good chance to get some feedback. And if for some reason you were unaware of this series, maybe I can introduction, introduce you to you. And the whole idea behind it was basically, let's look at the um, game engine options available for a given programming language. It's got nothing to do with what language that program, sorry, that game engine was written in. It's what you can use to write games with that engine. So um, if, for example, you were working with C++, you want to code your game logic using C++, the following 3D game engines can be used with that language. And I've broken it down for four different languages right now. And I have a bit of a regret, kind of. Uh, so when I started this out for C++, because it was a huge list, and C Sharp, because it was, a, 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 I don't know, I set the precedent already with C++, I narrowed this down to 3D game engines only. So I kind of stayed a little bit away from frameworks, and I did not touch 2D at all. But then when I moved on to Lua and Hacks, because the, the, the number of things on that list got smaller, I became more inclusive in what I allowed, basically so that I could have a list of sorts. So with C++ and to a lesser degree C Sharp, I had to narrow it down so I did not include as much 2D stuff as I really wanted to. So I'm going to probably try and add that in the future. I'm going to try and get some kind of a list in here that covers two, um, 2D game engines uh, for C++ or C Sharp. Things like GDevelop or um, Duality. Things like glossed over did not make this list. I'm going to somehow fit them into this list. But I'm also looking for your feedback here. So, so far, as you see, we covered C++, Hacks, Lua, and C Sharp. And the way these work, basically for each one, Here's the playlist, and then there is a list on Game From Scratch uh, of the various different options available. So you can see Hacks, C Sharp, C++ is where it started and why I limited it to just uh, 3D to start with. And then we've got Lua, which is much more inclusive in what's included there. So that's the whole idea here. It's just basically here are the game engines you can use if you want to use this programming language. And now I am kind of stuck with uh, what to go or where to go next. And I've covered the biggies for sure. Um, the only other one I can think of that definitely deserves to be on this list is JavaScript. I can come up with a JavaScript list, no problems. There's a ton of 2D and 3D game engines out there for JavaScript. The biggest problem in generating that list is find out what's still alive. There's a lot of dead projects when it comes to JavaScript. Um, Maybe Rust's, but a Rust list would be pretty small. The Python list would be about three, maybe four game engines tops. Java, again, would be three or four tops. So I can't think of too many more languages to go with, but what I'm thinking is somehow do one on 2D game engines for C++ and C Sharp to fit them in here, because I omitted them from it originally. Um, JavaScript for sure possibly Rust. Uh, I'd love your feedback here, though. If there's other game um, engines via languages you'd like to see coverage on, do let me know what language you'd like me to cover. Specifically, give me some suggestions on it, too. So, for example, if you're a diehard Pascal fan and you can tell me a game engine other than Castle that's still under development, I, I will gladly make a list, but a list of one item isn't really a uh, list. It doesn't fit here. Now, not to say that I won't cover Castle Game Engine at some point in the future as an example, but it doesn't really make sense to do a list because, like I said, one item. Yeah. So that is a, uh, let's call it a retroactive introduction to a series that has mostly already happened. Uh, but if you do have suggestions for other languages you would like to see covered, I would love to hear them down below. Also, if you've got some feedback on what I've done so far, I would also love to hear it down below. And I've got this opportunity now. I just published the Hacks one, and I screwed up. So I also get the chance to do a bit of an errata here. Errata? Is that what I said? Anyways, here's my error uh, fix for the hacks error. Um, I said that Ka is built on Lime. That's a complete lie. My bad. 
All right, that's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.